Hey beauties, it's Riri. If you're new here, I'm an over 40 lover of all things beauty and I'm pretty obsessed with indie brand makeup. And in today's video, we are comparing the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation against the IT Cosmetics. All right, beauties, before we dive in, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share the video out if you do enjoy the content. Give the video a thumbs up. It really does help my channel a lot. And don't forget about that little join button right down there that you can click to become a channel member. Thank you to my channel members. I'm going to very quickly dive in. I recently did a first impressions and a wear test of the new e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. And in that video, I asked if you guys wanted to see a comparison between this and my favorite powder foundation of all time, the It Cosmetics one. So we're going to be doing that today. And when I say I love the It Cosmetics, y'all, um, I really, really love the It Cosmetics. Uh, I have used this product for a very, very long time. The e.l.f. one is $11. This one is around $34. I'm also going to kind of start off by saying that I do not have light in the actual powder foundation, the Celebration Foundation. This is the It Cosmetics, try not to blind you guys, Celebration Foundation. It does have an SPF of 50. Both of these are tan um, because this is what I use pretty much solely in the summertime. Um, I do not have a light in the actual Celebration Foundation. However, in the airbrush, I have an issue y'all, in the airbrush perfecting powder, which is a sheer to full coverage finishing veil, in the shade medium, I don't have any lights right now, so I'm not actually sure if this is going to work for me today, but we're just going to roll with it y'all. And you can see that it is at pan. Um, I I love this product. I cannot express to y'all how much I love this product. So I'm going to go in actually with my It Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush. I'm going to go in and I'm going to swirl. I'm going to tap. And you can see I picked up quite a bit of product. I'm going to pull my mirror close, so I'm sorry if you see it. And then I'm going to, again, press. This is my method. I like to press even if I'm using a powder. And I kind of really press through this area first. That is where I have a lot of, you know, that is where I have a lot of redness, broken capillaries, acne scarring, etc. And then I will buff and put the products to kind of the rest of my complexion. I just, I love the way that this applies. It is absolutely stunning. I have never felt like it is drying and I have very, very dry textured skin, even in my nose and everything. My under eyes, I just, I never, ever feel overly cakey or dry from this. And actually, the shade is not bad. I definitely would like to repurchase this, but again, this is what I use mainly in the summertime. I don't like to put a whole lot of product on my complexion in the summertime. And as much as I love tinted moisturizers, tinted hydrators, things like that, if I'm outdoors, they're literally sliding off my face and it's just uncomfortable. Um, whereas this, I can put on first thing in the morning. It lasts all day. It lasts in my swimming pool as well. Um, and I like to put SPF on and then put the powder on top of it. You guys, I don't ever get sunburn or anything like that on my face. Um, and that's also why my face is like 6,000 shades lighter than the rest of my body in the summertime. <laughs> um, but I'm going to get a close, of course, and show you. And I do have a full video on the e.l.f. one. Um, the e.l.f. one is good. It's really nice. You have to take a less is more approach with the e.l.f. one because a lot of product picks up at one time. That is kind of my, you know, my one qualm with it. Um, but it wore well. It lasted well. I didn't feel itchy. I didn't feel thick or cakey. I just, the way that this particular one looks on my complexion, it's just beautiful. I can see a beautiful kind of luminosity to the skin that I really, really love. Um, if you don't like that, then I would probably just go in with the basic Celebration Foundation, but the Illumination one is where it's at for me, in my opinion. I'm going to go in with a different Love is the Foundation brush, and I'm going to go into the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. This is Light 210. In. And this claimed to be full coverage. I didn't feel like it was super full coverage, but I also, I mean, I have a lot of imperfections on my complexion, you guys. So, I mean, it could just be that. If you already have very, very nice skin, I think you would really love the, I think you would love the coverage of this. Um, or if you're like me and you're basically just trying to combat redness and stuff, um, I, again, think it'd be enough for you. So, again, less is more approach with this one. A lot comes out of the pan at one time. And I'm going to press and stamp it into place, avoiding my nose and avoiding my smile lines and the under eye at first. Now I'll add a little bit more and I will do a buffing motion. I feel like the coverage is definitely medium. I mean, it takes away all my redness. I can just kind of still see a little bit of something, something kind of peeking through. Um, I don't mind that. It's skin. We have skin. I'm over 40 and I have wrinkles. It is what it is. 
And I'm going to be very, very cautious around, again, those kind of sensitive areas that I tend to get a lot of bunching and stuff. Both of these products last an incredibly long time. I just, for me, I prefer the finish and just the way that this looks on my skin. I mean, you can kind of, you know, very visibly see the difference. So I'm going to get up close. And they're both beautiful. I absolutely highly recommend this one. I just recommend to be, you know, well moisturized. And that's all I have on is just moisturizer. And I let it sit for quite a few minutes before applying any type of powder foundation. Um, I just, I love the finish of this one. It's so beautiful. I even feel like even in the pore area, I even feel like in my pore areas, it just emphasizes texture. And that's fine because most powder foundations will on me. And I don't feel like this one does it as much. It's just the finish and everything of this, you guys, is just beautiful. I love the luminous quality that it has. I love that it's long lasting and I love that it has SPF in it. Um, so that's my little comparison. They both wear really, really well. So take this video as you will. Um, if you've tried the IT Cosmetics, let us know. Comment down below. I just, I swear by it. I've used this product for a very, very long time. Um, I just, I have a slight preference for that over the e.l.f. But the e.l.f., if you're looking for an affordable powder foundation, um, I, I definitely don't think you could go wrong with it. All right, that's it, beauties. Short and sweet. What did you guys think? Have you tried either of these? Comment down below. Let's have that conversation in the comments. I love you, beauties. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And be your own best beautiful. Bye, beauties. All right, beauties. I very quickly wanted to just come back and show you guys what both sides look like with full product on, full face done. Again, I just, I feel like this side looks a little bit better, less emphasis on texture, the beautiful glow and the hydration that I get from this side, I really love. Um, but again, this side, it, I love this one too. Products apply, you know, equally as beautiful on both sides. All right, beauties, that's it. Bye.